All right, people, Catfish Dave here. Uh, it's already too hot for me. I'm not going to sit here long. I'm simply cruising around. It's been brutally hot. It's just too hot to fish. It's too hot to fish at night. The water temps are hot. I'm doing a little bit of road tripping, um, scouting out new areas so I can get used to the areas, used to launching at these areas. Because better fishing is right around the corner. I've seen in the next couple of weeks the highs are going to start getting down into the lower 80s. So once we get out of this August crap, uh, I'm going to get a little more excited. This is just a quick experimental run. I'm down here on the Hiawassee River. I've never been here right off Highway 58. I'm going to throw out some three day old skipjack in here, man, and just see what's in here. Water temperatures I've noticed here are cooler than what they are on the Tennessee. 76 degrees here, you know, it's, that's a bit cooler than what it was on the Tennessee River. This connects to the Tennessee River, so uh, there could be blues in here and I automatically know it's a flathead type of river, so anything could happen. One reason I'm not going to be out long is because of the boat traffic. It's the weekend. Man, I cannot wait till deer season. It will actually be bearable to be out here once it gets that time of year. The fishing gets better. The amount of boat traffic goes way down. I can't stand the summer. I'd rather be out here in the month of January, any month but summer. Less boats, more fish. I wondered if this was going to have any current in it or not, but there is a pretty good amount of flow coming through here. Here we are, man, late morning, just an experimental trip. It's 9.53. By the hour of suck, which is, you know, a couple hours from now, this boat's gonna be on the trailer. It's just gonna be too hot. It's supposed to be in the 90s. Give it a couple weeks, and you'll be able to tolerate it out here. I ain't never been here. I'm sure if you was here in the spring or fall, you could flat wear some fish out here. There we go. There's a fish. Look at there. Look at there. Hey, that's a pretty good takedown.
good looking fish. All right, y'all. That ain't too bad of a fish. That's a big old long fish, man. Long fish with a wide head. Big, big wide head on him. I was on the way to the Sequoia nuke plant and I've crossed over this Hiawassee several times. I said, you know what? That connects to the Tennessee River. Might not have the deep water that Tennessee River does, but this is fairly deep here. Like I can say uh, 40 to 42 foot. Now deep ain't always where you want to fish, but out here in the heat of August, in the daytime, yeah, I'm gonna fish, I'm gonna fish deep. There goes my gosh camera. That's it. Well, I had a separate camera that I would take good photos of fish could just screenshot and the video was blurry and that bass boat come by and I just had it on a little tripod because I don't keep it out in the boat you know I only use it once in a while and I heard that tripod hit that camera came off the top of that tripod and is down in 40 foot of water now so I've had a lot of bad luck I just had a lot of bad luck here lately I don't know why just bad things happening man uh, that's why I've got all new video cameras I've lost several fish videos due to camera problems so now I've got new video cameras now I'm gonna have to order another actual camera camera that I can just sit on a tripod and sit on a timer and set back but I had a beautiful picture of that fish and now I no longer do we don't have real long in this trip. This is one of those I got here late. I'm gonna leave here early, just trying to get through August catfishing trips. I've already lost a camera. I was gonna go ahead and put the boat on the trailer because it's just too hot. But I'm getting a little bit of shade from this bridge. 
Uh, you know, once this temperature actually hits the 90s, it don't matter if I'm in the shade or not, my camera's not gonna work. But this will buy me a little more time here. When you're suspending a bait like that, how's that fish supposed to get it in its mouth when it's literally jumping up five and six feet at a time over and over? I hate summer. I hate everything about summer. I will continue to hate summer. And I just can't wait until deer season. All right, people. I'm sitting up under this bridge enjoying the shade I know it's over 90 degrees. My camera ain't gonna run long. The problem is we ain't getting jack squat. I mean, this is kind of a hole, but not really. I mean, it's like 31 foot. That thing over there was 40, coming out of about 25. And I'm thinking, you know, I can't fish in that long, but I can go down there and make a drift through that thing and then come back up and get up under this bridge and recover. I catch catfish all the time in the middle of the day back home. They don't like the heat, but some of them will still eat. I'm gonna rebait with a couple fresh baits, and we're gonna make a drift through that hole down there. We can't settle for one fish. I keep waiting for the boats to stop before I start drifting so my baits ain't doing like this, but the boats never stop. There's more boats here than there is in Knoxville. Here comes another. Yeah, my camera ain't gonna last five minutes out in this direct sun, no, no breeze at all, 90 something degrees. If I could at least get some wind, that, that would prolong my stay out here, but. All right, I'm just gonna turn the spot lock off, man. And I'm gonna let this thing carry me down this hole. Two suspended baits.
My scales tore up. Uh, I dropped my good camera over the boat. So we're just going to have this video. So I'm going to hold this fish up. And uh, this is my first time going to the High Wassey, man. Every time I get out of Knoxville, I catch big fish. Woo! Yeah! Son, I, I can't get no. That's it. We're going to the house. <laughs> Out. Ooh, we. I got him. 